Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com. This is a fun little video of me and Tommy going out and catching carp and catfish quick and easy. This was a weekday trip on Tommy's birthday week and he wanted to go out in our fast little boat and, and just fish for a little bit so I was letting him call the shots and we got out and had a good time with just about an hour, hour and a half. So really quick and successful. Because we had so little time I was using my fast boat. I got this little 12 foot fiberglass boat with a 9.8 mercury outboard. I got this, the trailer, the boat, the motor, the whole package for $800. It's a, a little uh, trick I, I learned to getting a really great deal on boats and it's part of a video I'm working on on how to get a really low end fabulous fishing boat for cheap. So stay tuned if, you, if you're interested in buying a boat but you don't have a lot of space or don't have a lot of money. I'm going to show you some tricks to getting a really cheap boat that works great. This boat, I've done no mechanical work on it at all, runs like a charm, and uh, it flies like lightning on this with this little 9.8 uh, outboard. Love it. It's a great boat for, for when you just got a, only a little bit of time to fish. And uh, Tommy likes it because it goes so fast. And it's kind of a more of a fun boat, and he's getting to an age where I can trust him not to fall in the water. So. You know, it's a it's a nice time, and we have a good time going out in it. it uh, really light boat too. We can tow it with just about any car. I don't think it's 50 pounds of tongue weight. It's it's pretty light. At any rate, I've got this spot I'm hitting, and uh, it's a spot I I hit before that I, that's been really hot lately. So I throw out an anchor off the back, drift forward a little bit, then throw an anchor off the front, and I tighten up both ropes and and got us anchored up really good. Such a light little boat, it doesn't take much to anchor it properly. And I've got a Panko pack bait. This is a great carp and catfish bait. It's breadcrumbs, jello, and corn all mixed together and so that makes this, you can form it into a ball and it's like kneading up a ball of white bread. It's about that consistency and I'm packing it around what's called a method lead which is a specially designed lead to hold pack baits and it's a sliding inline lead and so I've got this ball of pack bait around the lead and then I'm poking the hook with a fake piece of corn on a hair rig into the ball and I'm going to check it out. This is a great bait when you don't have a lot of time. You want a bite and you don't have a lot of time to wait for a bite. I will. Catfish and carp love this bait. My biggest channel catfish ever, about 23 pounds I caught on this bait and I frequently catch you know, six to 10 pound channel cats on this. And carp of all size love this bait. It's a really great one. And I've got a couple bite runner reels, so I don't have my normal rod holders. So I'm using the uh, bite and run feature there to keep my rods from going in the water. And uh, was had my rod in the water for maybe two minutes oh, there we go. and Here got a hit. Here you go, there you go, look at that. Fish, reel them in. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. I'll keep your rod tip. You'll put your rod tip up. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a nice one. He's stronger. I'm not, I'm yeah, you can do it. You, you're, you're Tommy. You've got polar bear strength. I do have polar bear strength. Here, hold on the rod. Ooh, three, in, eh? Yeah, you got him. You got him. Oh, keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's a nice one. You're doing great, Tom. A nice one? Yeah. Uh, you can catch him. Oh, keep reeling. Tommy, you're strong. You, you're catching him. I just ran out of polar bear. You ran out of polar bear strength? Yeah, oh. I can put the line. Here, why don't, you, why don't you just reel it a little bit more? See, you it right there. I, I'll hold the rod, you reel it, okay? You got it. Oh, yeah, you're doing so good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that. Ugh. You got him. Yeah, I got him. Oh. Not bad, right? No, it's not a bad. It's nice. That's a nice channel cat. I forgot to bring pliers. <laughs> Charles the channel cat? Charles the channel catfish. You want to hold him? I want to pet him. Okay, Tom. I should go and pet him. Look, look he has a noodle. <laughs> he has a noodle. Uh, he has a sneaky peas and a 
potty? He pees in the potty? I think he pees in the water. Oh. There you go, Tom. He said he pees like a dog. See, let's put him in the water right now. Okay, you want to put him in the water? Yeah. Here. You take him? Okay, you want to hold him with both hands? I keep this one hand. You could use just one hand? Yeah. I don't want him to get out of it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. You want, you want to reel them in? You don't want to reel them? Okay, I'll reel them in. Since I forgot my pliers, I was actually ended up using my car keys to get the hook out of the carp's mouth. It's uh, really simple. You just take anything long and narrow and slick it, stick it inside the bend of the hook and then press down on the back of the eye and it just the, the car keys act like a fulcrum and you just pop the hook out. Works pretty good. Oh, there we go. And that's how you use your car keys to get a hook out of a fish's mouth. Dummy, you wanna you wanna put them back? I do want to put them back. It looks like goldfish. <laughs> it's called a carp. So he's not really a goldfish. Daddy, I wanna go back home, Daddy. Okay, we'll go home. Let me just fix this. <laughs> Yeah, well, we did okay. We caught two fish. Because we're pretty good at fishing. You want to go super fast? Yeah. All right. All right, you ready to go super fast? Yeah. At any rate, you can see the sun was starting to set when we showed up. And uh, it was just finishing setting as we pulled out so you know we were on the boat for maybe 30 minutes total we were out fishing for maybe 15 minutes uh, 20 minutes caught two fish and we head home in time for dinner and, and uh, just a really quick and easy trip just a great way to go out and have some fun on a weekday If you like this video, check out some of our other great videos, including how to make the pack bait I used in this video and a detailed description of the rigs and techniques I used. I'll put a link to both these films in the description of this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every week.